Imagine the number of times you go back and forth from keyboard to mouse in the course of a day to copy and paste, search through subfolders, or scroll through your files. It might take you five seconds, which may not seem like a lot, but if you do it 500 times, that could add up to 40 minutes of your day gone. But if you could cut that down to a second, those 500 actions would only take eight minutes. But how? Well, if you read the title of this video, you know already, shortcuts. Today, I'm gonna to show you 12 game-changing VS Code shortcuts that'll speed up your coding. So let's get into it. To start off, here are a few ways that I optimize my own user experience. So I like keeping my VS Code display uncluttered when I'm working, so I'll usually keep my sidebar hidden. But if I do need to use it, I can use Control B or Command B on Macs to toggle its display to show it, and then again to hide it when I'm done. And you can do the same thing with Control Backtick to toggle the display of the integrated terminal. Now, aside from the UI stuff, here are some shortcuts that'll help you navigate your files a lot more quickly. When you're working in a code base that has a ton of files, it can be pretty annoying to have to search through all your folders and subfolders just to find the one file that you need. But if you know the file name, you can find it much more quickly with the quick open menu. So in the editor, press Control P to open the menu, type in the file name you want, and voila, you can get right into the file to make your changes. When you're in the editor, if you have a really long file, instead of scrolling with the mouse, you can actually scroll with your keyboard by pressing Control and then either the up or the down arrow. This one's super convenient, especially when you just want to move a few lines further without having to move your hand to your mouse and back. And when scrolling still isn't fast enough, there is another shortcut you can use to jump to a specific element in the file, again with a quick open menu. Press Control P, then the at symbol, and it'll display all the elements or what they call symbols in the file. Then you can either look through the elements in the menu, or you can type in the name of the tag or the class name that you're looking for to get there immediately. Now, when I'm writing my styles, sometimes I like having both the HTML and SAS files open for reference. VS Code lets you split the editor into multiple panels so you can display more than one file at a time. So with my HTML file open, I can press Control backslash to split the editor. So we have a second copy on the right. Then using the quick menu with Control P, type in footer, and now I can open the SAS file that I want. So now I can make my style changes and reference my HTML at the same time. And as a bonus mini tip, when I'm done, I can close the tabs I don't need anymore by pressing Control W. So these are the shortcuts that I use to get around files in VS Code more quickly. But you're probably spending most of your time in VS Code actually writing code. So here are some shortcuts that have saved me a lot of time when I'm typing away. Do you ever feel like some CSS properties just have really long names and it's annoying to have to keep typing them out even with the regular autocomplete? Well, did you know that you can actually just type out the abbreviation of the words that you need and let Emmet generate the rest for you? For example, instead of typing out display grid, all you need to type is D, G. Or instead of grid template columns, you can type in G, T, C. You can do this with every CSS property and value combination and it really saves you a lot of key presses. And for even more speed, you can combine this with another shortcut, Control Enter. It creates a new line and automatically places your cursor in the new line without having to go to the end of the previous line and pressing Enter. This also works with HTML. I can use Emmet to create elements with classes or IDs, and then press Control Enter even while the cursor is inside the tag to create and go to the next line so I can keep writing more HTML. This combo is one of my favorites because it's increased my speed while decreasing my level of annoyance while I'm coding. Now, one thing that might happen to you a lot as a developer is having to rename things. For example, all the elements here have the word hero in their class names. But what happens if you have to change the word hero to say feature instead? It is a bit of a pain to manually go through each element and delete and retype the class. But with this next shortcut, you can update them all at the same time. If I select the word hero, then press Control Shift L, VS Code will automatically select all matches of the word hero in the whole file. Then we can type in feature and it'll replace them all simultaneously. However, the risk with selecting all matches is that you might accidentally replace a match that you didn't really want to, especially if you have elements in your file that have similar names to one another. 
Fortunately, you can avoid this risk by adding matches one by one to your selection group with another shortcut. If I select Hero again, then press Ctrl D, VS Code will only add the next match to the group selection. So this is nice because you can monitor exactly what is getting matched so you only replace the ones that you want. Now I do want to mention that I've actually customized the key binding for the shortcut to be Control alt d instead of the default Control d I did this because I'm using Control d for one of my most commonly used shortcuts, duplicating lines of code. So let me show you what I mean and how I did this. Duplicating lines of code can be really helpful. I do this a lot in my HTML files if I need to make multiple copies of an element. For example, if I want to create a new section tag from the hero section, but with a different name, I can select the element, then press the default shortcut, shift alt down arrow to duplicate it. However, shift alt down arrow is a little cumbersome in my opinion, so I want to change it to control D instead. So to change your shortcuts, open your command palette with control shift P, type in keyboard, and then go to open keyboard shortcuts. And here, you'll see a list of all the shortcuts along with their key bindings. So the duplicate shortcut is actually called copy line down. So if you type it into the search bar, you can see that we have the original key binding of shift alt down arrow. Now to change it, click the pencil icon, then press the new key binding that you wanna use. I'm gonna use control D. And we can see that there's a warning telling you that there is an existing command using this key binding. And this is because Control D by default is used for that add selection shortcut that we just talked about. So we need to change that too so they don't overlap. First, let's press enter to save this key binding. Then we want to change the other shortcut. So let's search for add selection. And then in add selection to next find match, click the pencil icon for that, and then press Control Alt D and enter. So now we can use our new key bindings to duplicate with Control D. Then I can select the hero name in the duplicated element, press Control Alt D, and only replace the names that I want with the new class name. Another great combo that I use along with duplicating code is being able to move a line of code anywhere I want in the file. I use this a lot when I want similar styles in different elements or in media queries. For example, in this wrapper class, I might want to change the grid template columns rule for desktop. Now I could retype the whole rule in the media query using our abbreviated Emmet shortcut that I showed you earlier, but sometimes I find it easier to duplicate the styles and then just tweak the copy. So instead of copying and pasting, I'm going to duplicate the style rule that I need to change with my custom key binding, Control D. Then I can move the duplicated copy wherever I need by holding down the Alt key and pressing the down arrow. So now I can change the styles in our desktop media query and we're good. You can also do this with multiple lines. If you select them, then move them down and make any changes. All right, so that's it for the shortcuts that I love in VS Code. And if you're looking for more cool things that you can do in VS Code, you might like this video on how you can create and publish your very own theme. This is how I made the theme that you saw me using in this video, and I've linked it down below if you want to install it for yourself. It's called Coder Coder Dark, and you can install it for free from the VS Code Marketplace.